In this Microsoft Copilot beginner tutorial, I'm going to share with you my five level system so that you can work smarter with Copilot. Whether you are just getting started or if you want to sharpen your skills, this system will help you understand the fundamentals, show you how to craft effective prompts, as well as collaborate with Copilot inside of the apps that you use every single day. Then we will move on to some more advanced features, including agents and notebooks, and some real life workflows. So hi, I'm Amy, let's nerd out. To use this feature, you need to have a Microsoft 365 Copilot add-on license, which means that from the Microsoft 365 homepage in the new chat area, you have this work toggle at the top. In level one, we are going to start off with the fundamentals. Firstly, what is Copilot? Copilot brings the power of AI into your Microsoft ecosystem. It's kind of like having your own personal assistant, helping you create faster, stay organized, and work smarter. So now that we know what Copilot is, there are two fundamental ways that we can get started using Copilot. To get started, we need to go to the Copilot chat, and it's really easy to get here because it is the new Microsoft homepage. And at the top here, you're going to see a toggle for web and a toggle for work. So we're going to break down each of these and see what their purposes are as well as how they differ. So in the web experience, this is really good for open-ended tasks. So for example, we can ask Copilot to brainstorm 10 event ideas for Amy's animal shop over the next 12 months. So once Copilot has generated the output, you can then scroll down to the bottom and you can continue the conversation using these suggested prompts or even normal language to fine tune the output further. To start a new conversation, we can head up to this little icon on the top right, go start a new chat. And now if we toggle to the work experience, then Copilot can now reference content such as files or emails or even chats within our ecosystem. So for example, I can ask Copilot to summarize the status of the puppy training level two course launch. Now, if I just press enter here, then Copilot will reference everything within my ecosystem. But if I want to narrow the results, then I can click this plus icon. I can go add work content. And here I can now specify specific people, files, meetings, emails, and more. So let's just leave this open-ended for now and we will generate. So Copilot is now going to reference all of my files, my chats, my emails in my ecosystem, and it is going to pull relevant information to help me get an update on this puppy training level two course. And if you have a favorite prompt, then drop a comment below and let me know, and I can compile them into another video on the top prompts for using Copilot. Now that we know the fundamentals of Copilot, we can move on to level two, where you will learn to craft effective prompts. When we chat with Copilot, we use natural language to ask what we want. And this is called a prompt. And Microsoft has created this prompt gallery. So we can go view prompts. And then here we have an exhausting list of prompts, which is a great way for you to get started. When you see one that you like, you can go to this save prompt icon here, and then you can easily access it under your prompts and then select your prompt to get started with Copilot. But simply knowing these prompts doesn't help you understand what creates an effective prompt. So let's now take a look at my prompt formula. When we talk about prompts, we can think garbage in equals garbage out. So it's important to craft your prompts effectively. And I've created the clear formula to help you remember all of the key components. So with this, we want to ensure that we add context, a layout, we set the expectations, define the attitude, and include reference materials as needed. Feel free to screenshot this page, or you can download my Copilot toolkit that includes a cheat sheet, some examples, as well as my top prompts. So you can grab a copy from the link in the description below. Moving on to level three, where we will learn how you can use Copilot in the apps that you use every single day. Before we jump in, I just wanted to highlight that there are a few different ways that we can collaborate with Copilot in these Microsoft applications. So for example, when you click anywhere within your Word document, 
you'll see this little draft with Copilot icon. So that is how we can use Copilot with our content in our document. Alternatively, we can go up to this Copilot icon on the top right, and then this opens up Copilot chat. So again, similar to level one, we have the web as well as the work where we can ask Copilot questions about this document. We can ask it to help us brainstorm ideas using its general knowledge from the web, or we can even reference specific files within our Microsoft ecosystem so that we can get the information that we need without switching applications. So that is just an example of how Microsoft Copilot helps us work faster and smarter. So let's now take a closer look at how Copilot can help us in individual applications. In Outlook, you can select an email and go summary by Copilot. And this generates an AI summary of the email so that you can quickly gain insights. And it's super beneficial, especially for long email threads. Copilot can also help you draft replies to email, including suggested prompts based on the contents of that email. Or you can use the Copilot chat area to help you extract information such as summarize unresolved items in this email thread. In Word, we can get an AI generated summary of the document at the top. We can also have Copilot help us rewrite specific text within our document by selecting the text and going draft with Copilot, then providing additional prompts to rewrite it appropriately. Then within the chat area, we can gather insights on our documents or even ask for feedback, such as what are some ways that I can improve this document. In Teams, when record and transcribe are turned on for meetings, you can access the Copilot chat to gather insights from the meeting contents. So for example, generate a pros and cons table of products discussed so far. Within the Microsoft Loop app, you can select the draft with Copilot icon and then use your prompt. So for example, draft a detailed plan for the fall fair at Amy's Animal Shop. I don't want to send Copilot on a wild goose chase and give me a random output. I want to curate this to an outline that we already have for the business plan. So in order to do that, we can press this little plus icon, or we can once again, press that forward slash key on the keyboard and start to type out the name of our file. Press enter and then select, and then enter again to generate. And here we can see that output from Copilot and that has quickly helped us draft a plan for the fall fair. Copilot can also help you transform your documents such as Word files into beautiful presentations within the PowerPoint application in just a couple of clicks. And within OneDrive, you can select multiple documents and then have Copilot help you compare files, generating a quick AI summary of important details for easy reference. These are just a couple of examples so that you can get started using Copilot. And if you want more app specific prompts, then be sure to download my free Copilot toolkit linked below. In level four, we will learn the tools that Copilot connects with, which includes the elements on the home page. So we have search, agents, conversations, pages, and notebooks. Number one is search. And to use the Copilot search, you need to ensure that this is toggled on on the top right. Then we can give our prompt. So here we are going to search for the level two training course. And Copilot is going to first analyze our search query, and then it is going to give us an output. So we can see here that we have an in depth analysis of the level two training course, as well as supporting files. So this just helps us search for what we need faster and more efficiently. Moving along the list, we have chat, but we already covered this in level one. So we are going to build on the chat experience with agents. So agents are like focused AI assistants that are trained to help you on a specific task. So for example, we have the researcher agent or the analyst agent. So these agents are highly specialized in research and analysis. Now you can explore other agents that Microsoft has created. So for example, a writing coach or your organization may even create their own custom agents based on specific organizational workflows. 
Now to use an agent, you could select the agent here and provide a prompt, or we can even just use the agents within the regular chat area. So for example, we can press the at mention, and now we can mention the researcher agent and then provide our prompt. Now we can ask the researcher agent to help us research new trends in the dog training industry. The next area on the left navigation is conversations. So this is going to be all of your previous chat history that you have had with Copilot. And to view additional chat history, you can simply go to all conversations. Then down below, we have pages. So to see pages in action, we are going to go back to this researcher output that we had. And at the bottom here, we have edit in pages. So what this does is this creates a Microsoft loop page that can now be edited and you can make it our own. Now, this is actually an integration within your own Microsoft loop, my workspace. And I have done a whole other tutorial on that that I will link below. The final piece in level four is notebooks. And to understand notebooks, we are going to walk through an example. So here you'll see that I have a notebook for Buddy, who is part of our puppy training sessions. And within a notebook, I am able to add instructions so that I can tell Copilot how I want it to respond when I chat with it in this environment. And I'm also able to add reference documentation. So I have our first session notes for Buddy, I have an intake form for Buddy, as well as a six month review. So now when I chat with Copilot here, it is going to respond how I want it to, and it's going to reference these documents. So notebooks bring the power of AI and grounds it on specific documentation so that we can have focused conversations about our topic. And in this case, we can have focused conversations about our puppy training client, Buddy. Level five is all about putting Copilot into action with real life workflows. And if you want to learn how you can use notebooks in a real life example, then you can check out this video here.